So let's get to our helping hero today because this is fabulous. This story is so great. She worked as a costume designer uh, at an opera house and has uh, helped her community by putting her sewing skills to work, making protective masks for those in need. Please welcome head of costumes for the Houston Grand Opera, Norma Cortez. Hi, Norma. Hi. Good morning. Welcome. Thank you for Thank you so much for joining us today. You are uh, used to making such elaborate costumes for the opera, and then um, this pandemic struck you as it did all of us. Uh, and when did you realize that you could go from making these these uh, confections, if you will, to these very necessary medical masks? We felt that we needed to help somehow, and um, we have the skills, so we were wanting to do something for our community and the Houston Grand Opera was able to give us um, materials and fabric to be able to, to make this happen. Wow. So what material did you have in order to make all of these? What, what did we, you have with you? We, we have a uh, fabric from our stock, from our warehouse and elastic uh, threads. And um, that's, that's about it. That what makes um, to make it uh, to make masks. Norma, how many have you made so far? Uh, around 3,000. Wow. Oh, wow. That's amazing. So um, how, have you running? Oh, go ahead, Ryan. Now, how many people are working with you to make those masks? 12, 12 people from our costume shop is doing this. They're volunteering their labor, and they're happy to be able to help somehow to our community. Have you run into, have you run into a shortage of materials yet? Yes, absolutely. We have uh, we have to uh, try to get fabric and um, elastic. Elastic is really scarce right now, so it's been a little complicated. But we're able to get it little by little and continue to produce masks. And how do you get the masks to the people that need them the most, Norma? Uh, Meg Edwards, our costume, our, our um, uh, uh, stage manager, she's helping us um, distribute this to. St. Joseph's, uh, and also to uh, the uh, Women's Center uh, with co collaboration with the Methodist Hospital. You know, Norma's been with the Grand Opera for 20 years, Ryan, and of course, she's the head of costumes there, but um, you're also married to an Uber driver and you're the mom of a teenager. Um, so you have a very busy household. Does your teenager uh, have a lot of schoolwork to do? And does your teenager have sewing skill? She has a little bit of sewing skills, yes. Uh, and yes, she does have a lot of work um, from, 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 from school. She has eight classes and they're a little, you know, complicated to be able to do them at home and to be able to um, follow through all of the courses. Are you a good teacher at home? I have, somehow I have to be her teacher. Oh, it's so hard. It's so hard. It is very hard, is very hard especially with a, with a teenager. Mm -hmm. I feel you. I really do. We really appreciate all the hard work you're doing uh, to, uh, to help uh, the medical workers of your community. And uh, you really are an inspiration to so many people. You're a fabulous example as a mom, too. Thank you. So uh, what we're going to do is, uh, because you are protecting thousands of people, our partners at Dole uh, want to give you $5,000 towards continuing your efforts. So, uh, we thank you so much for everything you're doing there. God bless you. Thank you. Well, please, yeah, and it, it, take that and use it to uh, make some more masks. And thank you so much for doing what you're doing. Uh, very creative, and we appreciate that, and so many people do. So, Norma, take care of yourself, and thank you again. Thank you both. All right, you take care. Uh, I wish I knew how to sew. Uh, yeah. Do you, have you ever <laughs> sewn before? I've never actually sewed anything before, so. I, tr I tried, and I, I, you know, it's, I didn't, it's something you need to be taught. You can't just willy-nilly get a sewing machine like I got one here. All right, coming up next, the American Idol judges, all of them right after this. Stay with us. 
Live is partnered with Dole to honor the hero of the day, to show gratitude for the front lines and support those affected by COVID-19. Dole is spearheading partnerships with organizations across the nation to pool their resources and deliver Dole packaged fruit to those who need it most.